Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to see 10 things that you can do while stuck at home since we're all in isolation. And uh, one of the things that I typically did first off is to organize all of my computer files. A lot of us are cleaning and organizing our homes right now, so why not just take that same idea and apply it to your computer, desktop, laptop, whatever you use. Um, I took a while to do this just because I had so many files that I did not realize I had. So I just went ahead and categorized them based on what type of files they were, where I post them, whether that's Instagram, YouTube, or anything like that, website, any of that. So that is what I am going to do and what I encourage you guys to do too if you have not done it because it makes you feel so much better once you have. After organizing all your files, I do encourage to take some time to clean up your desk space or your workspace. If you're working from home, whatever workspace you are using, it definitely makes you feel so much better and it does help you to keep like your mind organized as well as your space. I know that when my place feels really cluttered and whatever space I'm working on feels really cluttered, I can't seem to think properly and have everything organized the way I like it. So uh, just giving your space a nice wipe down, maybe use some cleaner, reorganize things where they were and put them in the homes that they're supposed to be in if there's excess junk on your desk. And as you can see, I am really neatly organizing all of my things here. Once your desk space or workspace is clear, next clean any living space or any space you inhabit the most in your home. This is definitely important as you continue as you continue to work in, from home due to everything that's going on. You need a nice clean space to work because it's more frustrating than working in a dirty cluttered space. After that, you want to make sure to just do your laundry, get it out of the way. If it's a chore, make sure that like this is the first thing that you do so it's out of sight, out of mind, and it's all done. If you find it more therapeutic like I do, play some music and just make it's done. I know laundry is not everyone's favorite, but at the end you will have a nice, clean, and organized closet as well because everything's going to be put back exactly where it needs to be placed. So this is really important to do. Just go ahead and make your bed. Having a nice, well-made bed helps you so much to focus, especially if you do this right when you get up in the morning. Once you're done doing that, if you happen to have a massive bookshelf in your house like I do, go ahead and organize it, clean it out, donate any books that you don't read anymore, and if you're like me, you probably found some that you forgot that you had and never read. And then once you have everything cleaned off, go ahead and reorganize it, get it all set up all nice and beautiful, let your creativity fly with this. I decided to group mine in different sections. Now once you have finished cleaning all areas in your space, I do encourage doing a little at home workout. I typically do yoga. I find it very soothing. I also find that it helps stretch all of my muscles so that I'm not in pain all day, especially in my lower back and in my legs. So just doing a nice low workout helps as well. And then definitely do some meal prep. I did some snack meal prep here, but any kind of meal prep you can do so you're not worried about what to eat the next day is always a plus because then it doesn't seem like such a chore. After that, definitely take some time to be creative. Draw, paint, whatever your medium is, just go ahead and start drawing what you feel. Right here, I am drawing some coloring pages for my niece. She really loves Disney, so I decided to do an Elsa and Anna 
and I also did Mulan with Mushu and that was supposed to be Mickey but you get the idea. I was trying to draw from memory and it didn't quite work out. But any way you can be creative helps. Also, take this time to read a book. You just organized your entire bookshelf and cleaned your entire workspace. So definitely take some time for yourself to just relax and read a book. Also during this time, just to treat yourself, binge watch your favorite show, watch a marathon of your favorite movies, play your favorite video games. Anything that can help make this time easier for yourself is a plus. So I hope these 10 things helped you to find something to do while you're stuck at home just to fill the void. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!